Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, 5 ways to mount EFI partition on Hackintosh. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. The first method is using terminal. Using this method, you don't need an app and can use terminal which is available within Mac OS. To mount the EFI partition using the terminal, open terminal, and type disk util list, and press enter key. This will list all the connected drives on the system. Now, you need to find the EFI partition and the disk identifier which you want to mount. A very quick way to determine the disk identifier is by finding the EFI type. Generally, you will see EFI EFI and look for the correct volume name. Once you locate the EFI type, just check for the identifier and then execute the command to mount your EFI partition. When prompted, enter your system password and press enter key. Once the terminal finishes mounting your EFI partition, you can access it from Finder. Second method is by using Open Core Configurator. Open Core Configurator is one of the widely used tools to edit config plist and mount EFI partition. To mount your EFI partition using Open Core Configurator, download Open Core Configurator, and then open it. From the menu bar, click on Tools and then click on Mount EFI and you'll get Mount EFI window. From the EFI partition section, click on Mount Partition of the disk you want to mount the EFI partition of. When prompted, enter your password and it will mount your partition. Once the EFI partition is mounted, you'll see the Open Partition button and also Unmount Partition button. To access the EFI partition, simply click on the Open Partition button. You can also mount the EFI partition using the Open Core Configurator icon in the menu bar. To mount the EFI partition from here, click on the icon and you'll see the list of disks with EFI partition. Click on Mount Partition near the disk of which you want to mount the EFI partition. When prompted, enter your system password, and your EFI partition will be mounted. Third method is by using Hackintool. Hackintool is one of the powerful app developed by Headcase for various tasks. From updating texts to finding system information and a lot more than that. To mount your EFI partition using Hackintool, download the Hackintool app, and then open it. In Hackintool click on the Disks tab. From the Mount Point column, click on the Mount button of the disk you want to mount the EFI partition of. When prompted, enter your password. Once Hackintool mounts the EFI partition, you'll see the folder button just near the mount button. Click on the folder button to access the EFI partition. You can also locate the target EFI partition from the Partition Scheme section. To mount the EFI partition from here, simply right-click on the target EFI partition and click on Mount and it will mount the EFI partition. Fourth method is by using Open Core Auxiliary Tools. Open Core Auxiliary Tools is a cross-platform based Open Core Config Plist editor tool and now widely being used to edit the config.plist files. Other than editing config plist, the tool provides various options such as backing up the EFI and mounting the EFI partition. To mount your EFI partition using Open Core Auxiliary Tools, download Open Core Auxiliary Tools, then open OC Auxiliary Tools. From the menu, click on Edit and select Mount ESP. When prompted, select the disk you want to mount from the list. You can either simply mount the disk or choose to mount and open the config plist from the ESP. When prompted, enter your password. Open Core Auxiliary Tools will mount and open the ESP automatically. The last method is by using Mount EFI. Mount EFI is a GUI tool from Chris Triple One and is very easy to use. To mount your EFI partition using Mount EFI, download Mount EFI, and then open it. Once you click on Open, you'll see the list of the disks connected to your system. Find the target disk identifier. A very quick way to determine the disk identifier is by finding the EFI type. Select the disk identifier and click on OK button. When prompted, enter your system password. Once the mount EFI finished mounting your EFI partition, you can access it from Finder. So, these were the 5 ways to mount EFI partition on a Hackintosh. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.